Welcome to Opening Acts here at 1871, Chicago's digital startup hub. Opening Acts where we profile exciting uh, up and coming emerging companies, uh, give you a chance to see them before the rest of the world uh, knows about them. Uh, as you know, uh, I do chair Chicago Ventures and uh, many of them, including our company tonight, we've invested in. That's how much we believe in them, but I also like to be full, full disclosure. Uh, Jet, welcome. Great to have you in Project 44 here on Opening X. Th thanks for the opportunity, Pat. So uh, a lot of people may not know your business, your B2B business. Sure. Can you give people a sense of, you know, what do you, what do, you do? Yeah, absolutely. As Pat mentioned, we are a B2B business. We're focused on the trucking and logistics space. And for a lot of you out there, that may not sound super exciting or sound like um, something that, uh, you know, you're too interested in. But I think when you look at trucking and logistics as a whole and you look at it, it's the fourth largest segment of the GDP. The number one occupation in the U.S. is a, is a truck driver. Um, we're focused on solving those, those challenges there. And what we want to do is just automate the entire So uh, what, trucking what problem logistics. are you solving for the trucking industry? Well, the, the trucking logistics industry is, you know, thousands of years, not trucking, but, you know, ships and, and, uh, and wagon have been around for a long time. And the communication methods aren't much better than they were a couple hundred years ago. So what we're doing is we're just automating or digitalizing that, that experience between people that ship products and the trucking companies or the, the ships that actually move the product. So you're building out the digital infrastructure? Yep, that's to make right. this happen. Great. And so where'd you get the idea from? Well, I've been in the industry for, for two decades, so probably different than a, than a lot of folks that are startup. Um, come from the industry, a domain guy. And really, there's just so many great people there with challenges they're not able to, to solve. And a few years ago, we thought, hey, let's, uh, let's place a bet and see if we can have a better way of, of solving this, uh, these challenges of communication. And so talk, if you would, a little bit about like who are early customers? What, what, what are you doing for them? Yeah, some of our early customers uh, are companies like uh, Echo Global here here in town. Um, Eric Lefkowski and Brad Keywell's company. Yep, yeah. Companies like that, that just, uh, they're, they're in the business of coordinating uh, the movement of their goods for large, what we call shippers, which could be a manufacturer, a distributor, an e-commerce company. And companies like Echo Global uh, le leverage us. Got it. And what kind of traction do you have to date? I know you're a private company, keep it private, but sure. what can you share with people about yeah. a lot of great momentum you're building? Well, We've, we've been fortunate. Um, you know, we have over 500% year-over-year growth. Uh, the team is, is, is uh, more than doubled. Um, and we're just thankful for the partners that we have, thankful for Chicago Ventures and, and guys like yourself that have given us the support and been a great opportunity that have led us to the success we've had. Cool. So when we come back in five or ten years and we see your great success, what's that look like? What's that yeah. vision for what this can be uh, someday? Typically, companies uh, or folks are always asking, what's, what's the exit strategy? So um, when we think five, six years years out, we're not thinking IPO, we're not thinking selling. We're just thinking about building the best team that we can and focus on solving our, our customers' challenges. It's a, it's a massive space. With a How big could a company like this be? What you know, could you be uh, when you grow up? You know, when we talk to, to Stu and, and guys like that over on the board, we keep it pretty conservative, around $10 billion. Um, but... <laughs> Um, it's it's a huge it's 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 a huge space. So as we fix this communication layer, you start putting AI and ML on top of it. It's it's pretty pretty massive opportunity. And where's the name come from? Uh, so we're a Chicago based based company, and Route 66 uh, run from Chicago to LA, and that was the infrastructure uh, that laid the um, the physical infrastructure, if you will, for trucking and logistics. And that created a lot of challenges from an importing and exporting. And uh, when Route 66 was replaced with Highway 44, which is a more modern infrastructure, they called that Project 44. We thought it was appropriate since we're replacing uh, the digital infrastructure. That's cool. Great. Yeah. Well, good luck and congratulations. Thanks I appreciate for being here. it. Thanks for the opportunity.